Hello gals, pals, and non-binary pals. Welcome to another video. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm using a different editing software. I'm using CapCut instead of Kind Master because there's no watermark. Anyway, onto the topic for today's video, I'll just be talking about my art process. I just want to say, while drawing this clown, uh, it felt like way less than an hour, but yeah, it took me an hour and 59 minutes. So basically, it just took two hours to make. While looking for a reference, well, I didn't really have to look. I just opened Pinterest and the picture immediately caught my eye. This is the reference I use. As you can see, it's also in the speed paint. While I was sketching, I knew for sure I wanted this to be a clown, but I wanted it to be a stylish clown, you know? A very pretty clown, if you will. I probably should have looked at more references for clowns, because I just looked up clowns on Google and clicked the first image I saw. But it's okay, because the painting still came out really, really pretty. Now on to line art. I really wanted there to be texture in my line art, especially where there were like just patches of black. So I erased and colored it in with my watercolor pen. But later on, it doesn't really matter because I end up duplicating the layer anyway and all that texture goes away. But that's okay because it's still really pretty. And as you can see, there still is texture in my line art. It's just not the texture I was looking for exactly. But anyway, let's just enjoy the music for a bit. This is about where I start coloring. As you can see, I start with coloring the entire thing gray to map out the values I want. The colors I use are mostly inspired by clowns. In actuality, I just looked at the clown picture I pulled off of Google and used those colors. And I made the clown tan because you don't see many tan clowns out there and honestly, there should be more. So woohoo, representation, let's go. I don't know why I made the hair color that color, but I'm so happy I did. Maybe it's because of the clown I was looking at, or maybe it wasn't, but yeah, amazing color. And I used a little bit of bright green to contrast the dull red, because that's how complementary colors work. Let's go. I've also never drawn ruffles before, so yeah, new thing. Let's go. Onto the shading, at first I really wanted to do a purple and used a multiply layer, but then I decided not to and just use a dark blue and it looks so much better like that and I'm so happy I did that. I've never been really good at shading hair but I really hope I did good this time. Well I did do good this time because you can actually tell that it's hair and not just a blob on someone's head. Oh yeah and a quick pro tip here you should always use subsurface scattering because it can really bring life to your character. I feel like I could have done it better here because this is definitely not the best representation of subsurface scattering. If you really want to see good subsurface scattering, you should go look at Sam Does Art's art. He's a really good artist and honestly one of my biggest inspirations. On to talking about the background, I really didn't have any idea on what to do for it, so I went through different colors and just made it look like there are lights behind her. And I don't know if you can tell, but I went back and added some light to the line art because I realized that if I'm going to color in huge chunks of my line art black, I probably need to add lighting to that later on. Honestly, I'm happy with the color work I did here. Usually if you use red and green together, it looks like Christmas colors, but it doesn't here, so yippee! Oh yeah, and I didn't know whether to make the gloves white or black, so I just chose white because I thought, huh, well it's a clown, so yeah, white gloves, obviously. Oh yeah, and I just want to let you guys know that when I have random pauses like these, it's because I'm trying to look at the art itself. I know it looks super zoomed in, but I promise you, I am either not there or I'm looking at the entire art itself because, you know, you need to look at it and process what you're doing and not just go on and on and on. Take breaks, guys. Just take breaks. You gotta make those nails shiny, you know, or else it's not gonna look good. Oh yeah, and if you guys are wondering why I sound weird, it's because I have a really stuffy nose and I have really bad allergies. Uh, springtime is usually when my allergies come out. And with allergies comes me stuttering a lot, so I'm gonna have to redo a lot of these voiceovers, and just, yeah. Well anyway, I wanna thank all of you for like 75 subscribers, cause I've had a YouTube channel before, and it never got over like 12, so yeah. 
Thank you for watching the video, and share, like, and subscribe.